Alright guys, so I'm finally getting around to playing GTA Vice City. Now, I haven't played this game for real. Like, I only remember the first mission, the one where you hop on the fucking yacht, and the one where you jump off the little fucking bridge joint. Those are all the only missions I remember from this game. Other than that, I don't remember these missions at all. So, uh, we gonna get on into this. I'm gonna have a little Let's Play series, and... I don't know, I just feel bored whenever I play like story modes of games because majority of the games I play, I don't play the story mode whatsoever because I just get bored for whatever reason. Maybe it's because I'm not like talking during it, I'm just sitting here by myself like, damn, do I gotta keep playing this shit? Like, so I'm gonna have this little Let's Play series. Um, I'm gonna start with Vice City and if this gains traction, you know, I'll keep playing other story modes and whatnot. But uh, me making content out of it, make sure that um, I play these games and plus I enjoy it a little bit. So we're going to get on into this. We're going to play Vice City and I don't remember this at all really. And I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I have not played GTA 3 story whatsoever. Uh, I only played San Andreas like the first two missions. That's it. I'm not even going to... Even GTA 5 story, I barely played. I only go hop on the online stuff for whatever reason because my friends be on the online and I just play that. But we gonna get on into this. We're gonna enjoy this and I hope you guys enjoy the content I'm gonna be making. I'll crack a little jokes here and there and make this funny for y'all as you relive the nostalgia. So let's get on into this, guys. GTA fucking Vice City. How you doing? Hey, you look dapper as fuck. Alright, Marcos Beach or Liberty City. Then they'd never let him out. He kept his head down. Helps people forget. People will remember soon enough. When they see him walking down the streets of their neighborhoods, it will be bad for business. Well, I remember this shit. Do, Sonny? I only remember this first mission. Okay. We've been talking about expanding down south, right? Vice City is 24 karat gold these days. The Colombians, the Mexicans, hell, even those Cuban refugees are cutting themselves a piece of some nice action. But it's all drugs, Sonny. None of the families will touch that shit. Times are changing. People be talking about how good this game was, bro. So we're going to see, because I don't remember it all completely. So, we sent someone down to do the dirty work for us and cut ourselves a nice, quiet slice. Okay. Who's our contact down there? Ken Rosenberg. Schmuck of a lawyer. Rosenberg. <laughs> we don't need him to. We just set him loose in Vice City. We give him a little cash to get started, okay? Give him a few. I mate. I'm finna get copyrighted with this song playing in the background though. YouTube be bullshitting. They're gonna copyright me for that shit. But fuck it, whatever. Escobar! Uh, if you guys, uh, only my friends know this shit. Escobar, we played him against 2K. He was fucking ass, but. Well, uh, I'm gonna drive you guys to the meet, okay? Now I've talked to the suppliers and they are very uh, keen to start a business relationship. So. Uh, all goes well, Shut up, get in the car and drive, motherfucker. Come on. Motherfucker love yapping in this shit. Okay, so they're brothers, okay? One operates the uh, the business and the other one does it. Man. Alright, we're at the docks. Yep, I remember this shit. Okay, that's the shit looks crisp though. The little remaster looks crisp while maintaining like the original like aesthetic of it too without changing it all. Shit looks beautiful. Hey man, go fix your receding ass hairline, bro. Yep, and then we get fucking. It's a it's a setup. It's a ploy. Go. <laughs> and boom, bitch! Fucking Ken. Yeah. <laughs> the, the 
The motherfuckers running in this shit is so funny. <laughs> this shit looks so funny. <laughs> hey, what's up, baby girl? Mink! Mink! Oh, roundhouse kick! Knee! Mink! 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 <laughs> I just had to do that. All right, let's get let's get in this fucking whip. All right, let's go. Get in the fucking car. What the fuck are you doing? Motherfucker kissing the glass or some shit. All right, let's go. You know, low key, I wish I was in fucking Miami in the 80s. Shit would be lit and a pain in the ass and say, Bitch. Look at your dumb ass. Give, no, give me the fucking car. Give me the fucking whip now. Dumb ass hoe. We in that Ferrari. This shit would have been lit. Being back in the 80s, this shit would have been lit. But fuck it, we, let's go to the fucking uh, hot spot. Okay, let me not hit that cop car. Let me not hit that cop car. Do 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 God, stupid motherfucker. The Ocean View Hotel. <sighs> That's the only thing I remember, bro. Really. Welcome to the pink marker to continue. All right. An old friend. Overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective thing. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? How'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? <laughs> Fucking no. Set up. The deal was an ambush. Fucking no. You better be kidding me, Tommy. <laughs> Tell me you still got the money. <laughs> you better be kidding me, Tommy. I don't have the money. <laughs> that was my money, Tommy. <laughs> Oh. You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with. Wait, Sonny. You have my personal assurance that I'm going to get you your money back and the drugs, and I'm going to mail you the dicks of those responsible. <laughs> hey, I already know that. That's kind of weird, though. Wouldn't they deteriorate, though, if you mailed them? You'll be dead already. But because it's you. We're not going to get into it. Let, let me not get my I'm intrusive boss out in this bitch. Boom! Then after here, I don't remember shit because I would just start this little, the start the little missions and then not finish them whatsoever. Uh, damn this map. Miami's such a lit ass city, bro. Is that Brickle? Is that Brickle? They're missing Brickle. No, I'm joking. I don't even think Brickle was a thing back then. Was it? Shit, I don't know. Oh, fuck it, I don't know. I don't know why you're asking me. A golf course right there. All right, bet. Let's just uh, let's get this shit started with. This motherfucker. Were you out of tire? What is he doing? This motherfucker always tired. Oh, it'd be a pain. What the fuck? You trying to kiss me, motherfucker? Huh? You want... No. Come on. I ain't with that shit. You trying to kiss me? Hell nah. Give me your money while you're at it. Appreciate that. The cop didn't see shit. Alright. Where the fuck are we going, bro? Uh, L? We gotta go to the L shit? Uh Oh, place waypoint. All right, here we go. They are as stupid as fuck. Oh, you bitch! No, what? Oh my god. Oh, 
Let me just get the fucking shit. This motherfucker always tired, bro. How do I turn the radio off? YouTube finna copyright my ass if I keep this radio on. Shit. God damn, this... This should be moving fast as fuck, boy. Damn, damn. Damn, my car getting fucked up. Let's get on into this. Come on. It's a party. It's a party. I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off, drinking coffee. This That's kind of weird. Disaster. We are so screwed, man. Imagine this being so alone, drinking coffee. Rip my head off. I can't say shit. I'd be alone too. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we gonna do? Shut up. Shut, yeah. Sit down. Shut the fuck up, Ken! I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine. And then we're gonna kill them. I like that. I like that. I could get down with a motherfucker like you. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs. Okay? Now listen. This guy just looks stupid. Look at his ass. I know that gold fake as hell, bro. That shit fake as hell. I know your neck green. I told you, shut up. I'll go myself. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't going to be a beer at strippers too. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here. Stop by Raphael. Tell him I... He's better dressed than you, Ken. Fucking Kenny boy. Him, him and Lester, bro. Him and Lester. Go get some new threads from Raphael's clothes shop. All right. All right, bro. Let's go get some clothes. Let me look spiffy. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Here we go. Mink, mink, mink. Me? Oh, here we go. Alright. We got some Louie in here? Some Gucci? Rafa? Nah, he don't got shit. This is this that fake ass shit, probably. Okay. Okay. I'm looking spiffy, alright. He put that shit on. Alright. Those Christian Louboutins? Fuck no. Black bottoms, broke ass. But he put that shit on, we not gonna lie. Got that sleeves rolled up. He thinks he's fucking him. Alright, I see you. Alright. I can't fucking drive, yes, I know. Oh shit, almost went in the fucking water. Let's see. Let's see what we're going to get into. What the fuck you looking at, ugly asshole? Keep a move on. I understand you are here on the behalf of Mr. Rosenberg. I hope any recent problems have not affected his health or mental well-being. <laughs> Versetti. He's just got a touch of agoraphobia. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And you? Man, shave your chest. If you're gonna leave the, the, the top buttons unbuttoned, button, shave your chest at least, uh, Versetti. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps we'll talk later. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my daughter, Mercedes. All right, Mercedes. Would you look after our guest while I attend to my necessary patients? Of course, Daddy. <laughs> Please, excuse me. Calling. Mercedes. 
You try living. Wow, that's crazy. Calling him daddy is crazy. That's that's wild. That's something else. <laughs> These fucking characters are fucking hilarious. I like those shits are fake as fuck. Them tits fake as fuck. Why the fuck? <laughs> he looks stupid, bro. He looks like he part of Loaded Diaper, bro. From Diary of the Wimpy Kid. And the chatty trio. That sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right hand gift. Gonzalez. And the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo intellectual film director Steve Scott. Throws a passion with the Nipho invaders when the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. And I, you never saw anything like that before. Colonel! <laughs> this guy fat as fuck! Oh my god, why he built like that? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, he built like Queso Games. That's how he built like. God damn. Ricardo Diaz is Mr. Cole. Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go. Let's get out of here. Actually, take me to the pole position. Ooh, she trying to fuck. She kind of thick though, but not her face. All right, let's, let's snag this. Thank you. Get in the car, bitch. Will you be working for my father? Maybe. Do you mind me resting my hand in your lap? Whoa! So difficult having a rich Whoa! I didn't authorize that! Harassment! <laughs> oh shit. Oh fuck, I can't drive. You gonna mess up my fucking whip, bro? I, I got my bitch right here too. Come on. Bro, I'm in the fucking joint. Let's go. The way she walking got me dead, bro. <laughs> Ooh, hop skippity do a hundred bucks. Can't buy shit with that, but 